Well, here's my ox, my test ox. I put a little short stubby handle on it. Hi everyone. So I've been making these oxes and I'm pretty proud of them so far. They're pretty cool. Uh, they are made out of spring steel and I have been preheating them and using 7018 welding rod. I hear that's pretty much the industry standard. There is other kinds that I haven't tried yet. Uh, but there is some questions about uh, brittleness and stuff, and I'm kind of wondering too. So I don't have a hydraulic bender or anything, but I do have a sledgehammer. And as much as it kills me to do this, I do want to know what kind of beating these things can take. I have split probably a couple cords with them. And when, you, when you're splitting, the impact is, you know, in line with the weld. So I don't really see it being an issue, but... Here it goes. So I'm gonna put put it on these two blocks and I'm gonna whack it with a six pound sledge. And when you're hitting it with a sledgehammer, something's gonna fail. And I suspect that that middle tube is gonna just crumble and crush the handle. Uh, I did put a, a short hickory handle on there, uh, but we will see if the welds fail or not. So here goes nothing. Well, that works good so far. I'll uh, move you guys back so you can That's uh That's pretty promising actually. Not going to hold back here. Wow. So, I definitely bent it a little bit. You can see See, I uh, hit right there with the sledgehammer. It bowed it out there, but uh, I'm going to hit it really hard on that side. Oh, see if I can. That's a 
That's hilarious. Huh. Awesome. Okay. You can see the head totally misformed and uh, that tube is totally puckered but it's still functional and just for fun with my like 12 inch handle here I'm gonna see if I can split these things Total success. I was a little bit nervous. Awesome, super stoked about that. I uh, really did not want to do that, but I thought it was good, good test. This one's a forward leaf spring. Thanks for watching guys. Hi everyone. So I just beat the crap out of this to see if I could break it and I didn't the welds held up pretty good I straightened it back out and there was a couple big imprints there from the sledgehammer but I was worried that someone might put a comment on this video like why didn't you use a bigger hammer? So I found my 12 pound sledge and I, that, me hitting it here, put it through way more shearing test than chopping whatever put on it. So I'm confident it'll hold up, but I thought of another test that I could do. I thought, why not?
Did you guys see that uh, that kickback there? That was pretty nasty. Got a little twist to the blades there. So it's just breaking this chunk of the wood off. I was gonna, I was gonna smash it until I broke it this time, but it's not breaking. It's not breaking. So I don't know what more I can do to it. You can see where I was hitting it with the sledgehammer there. The edge is rolled a little bit, but I mean, that's kind of, kind of to be expected if you're hitting it with steel. Well, I think it's uh, pretty, pretty tough indeed. Thanks for watching guys. Well, I know I'm not going to break it now. After having my wood pile fall over on me like three times, I thought of this simple idea. Just take a scrap piece of wood, kick it in there real hard, your wood pile will never fall over again. Hi guys, so my son had a really great idea, um, I'm gonna straighten that axe out, put a new handle on it, and I'm gonna give it away. I'm thinking when I get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to give it away. Uh, so I guess you would have to be a subscriber in order for me to find you. And um, maybe uh, leave a comment of some kind so that I could reply to you. Uh, yeah, I think that's the best way. So you guys can look forward to that. Thanks for watching.